The question is a physical pendulum consists of four meter long sticks joined together as shown in the figure. What is the pendulum's period of oscillation about the midpoint of the horizontal stick? The concept behind this problem is parallel axis theorem and the time period of the physical pendulum. From the parallel axis theorem, the moment of inertia of a body about an axis parallel to another axis passing through its center of mass is I equal to ICM plus MD square, where ICM is the moment of inertia about an axis passing through the center of mass, M is the mass of the body and D is the distance of the axis from the center of mass. Now let's derive the formula for the time period of a physical pendulum. Suppose we have a rigid body which has not any defined shape. I am making a hole in it. Let's make a hole at this point. Now I am hanging it on the wall by using an iron nail and try to oscillate it about this oscillating point or you can say pivot point. Here you can see the simple harmonic motion of this pendulum. So this body becomes a physical pendulum now and it is also known as compound pendulum. Suppose this is the center of mass of the body and the distance of the pivot point from the center of mass is small l. Let at any time t the angular displacement of the pendulum is theta and the angular acceleration is alpha. If m is the mass of the pendulum then the gravitational force acting on the pendulum is mg which is represented by an arrow pointing down. If we take anti-clockwise direction as a positive direction, then the torque acting on the pendulum is given by tau equal to minus mgl sin theta because in this case torque is due to mg sin theta component of mg and it is along clockwise direction. This torque is especially known as restoring torque. From the parallel axis theorem, the moment of inertia of this pendulum about its axis of rotation is I equal to ICM plus ML square. Now from the Newton's second law for rotation, tau equal to I alpha, which implies that minus MGL sin theta equal to I alpha. And from here, alpha equal to minus MGL sin theta upon ICM plus ML square. If theta is a small, then sine theta is nearly equal to theta, so the approximate value of alpha equal to minus mgl upon icm plus ml square times theta. By comparing the above equation with alpha equal to minus omega square theta, we have omega equal to under root mgl upon icm plus ml square. So time period of the physical pendulum is given by t equal to 2 pi upon omega which equals 2 pi under root icm plus ml square upon mgl. Now let's see what is the solution of this question. Given the length of the stick is capital L equal to 4 meter. Let the mass of the stick is a small m. So the total mass of the physical pendulum will be capital M equal to 2 times a small m that is capital M equal to 2m. Now let's find the center of mass of the system of two sticks. For this first let's choose a coordinate system. I am taking a coordinate system such that x axis is passing through a stick 1 and y axis is passing through a stick 2. Let c1 is the center of mass of a stick 1, c2 is the center of mass of a stick 2 and c is the center of mass of the system. Since c1 and c2 both lie on the y axis, so the x coordinate of the center of mass of the system will be 0 and we need to find only y coordinate of the center of mass of the system. The y coordinate of the center of mass is given by ycm equal to sigma m i y i e from the limit i is equal to 1 to n upon capital M. Since there are two particles here, that is there are two sticks here, so we can write ycm equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 upon capital M and that is equal to m times 0 plus m times 2 upon 2m and which is equal to 1 meter. Thus the distance between pivot point and the center of mass of the physical pendulum is a small l equal to 1 meter. Now let's find the moment of inertia of the system about its center of mass. 
the moment of inertia of stick 1 about the center of mass of physical pendulum is given by I1 equal to ml square upon 12 plus ml square. Here ml square by 12 is the moment of inertia of a stick 1 about its own center of mass. And similarly the moment of inertia of the stick 2 about the center of mass of physical pendulum is given by I2 equal to ml square by 12 plus ml square. Thus the moment of inertia of the physical pendulum about the center of mass is given by ICM equal to I1 plus I2 which is equal to 2 times ml square by 12 plus ml square and that is equal to ml square by 6 plus 2 ml square. And finally the time period of the physical pendulum is given by the expression t equal to 2 pi under root ICM plus ml square by MGL which is equal to 2 pi under root ml square by 6 plus 2 ml square plus 2 ml square upon 2 MGL and that is equal to 2 pi under root ml square by 6 plus 4 ml square by 2 mtl and which is equal to 2 pi under root l square by 6 plus 4 l square by 2 gl and after plugging the value of capital L small l and g we can get t equal to 3.66 second. Now if you apply the rule of significant digit here then t will be 4 second. So this is the final answer of this question. That's all about this question. Thank you so much for watching this video.